Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn one of the hacker rank problems called the cats and a mouse. So first, let's read the question and try to understand what is this problem. It says that the two cats and a mouse are at various positions on a line. They basically two cats and one mouse. They are on a straight line, but at various positions. You will be given the starting positions. So the input will be like the positions where both these cats are standing as well as the mouse is standing. Now your task is to determine which cat will reach the mouse first. Assuming the mouse doesn't move and the cats travel at equal speed, right? Your task is to find out which cat. will actually be able to reach the mouse first and eat that mouse and yes uh, both the cats move at the same speed and mouse does not move but yes the mouse can move in some particular situation you can just see read out here if the cats arrive at the same time the mouse will be allowed to move and it will escape while both the cats fight so the mouse is allowed to move only in those situations wherein both the cats reach the mouse at the same position and they fight among themselves and the mouse escapes right so we have understood what is the input is like they'll be giving you the starting positions of both the cats and the mouse and your job is to find out which cat is going to actually reach the mouse first or in case if both reach at the same time then the mouse escapes right let's try to understand this with some better examples there's some in input which is provided here which is like the input will be like the position of cat a position of cat b and the mouse position like if you just observe this input the cat a is position 1 cat b is position 2 mouse is at position 3 right so now if both the cats move the equal speed then who will reach mouse first obviously cat b because much closer to mouse right so that is the reason the cat b is the output but if cat a is at position 1 cat b is position 2 so position 3 and mouse is position 2 something is mentioned here now please do remember cat a moves towards this mouse which is in forward direction cat b moves again towards the mouse in the backward direction right they both reach the mouse in the same position remember cat b is moving in the direction where the mouse is if it is backward it'll move backward if it is mouse is forward it'll move forward so since both reach at the same position right so the mouse will escape we will try to understand this with better examples and few more the same example what we just saw it's been specified here we have cat a and cat b and then we are basically saying that okay they move at the same speed now the cat b moves at one position here and at the same time cat a moves here and you can just observe after one unit of time the cat b actually reaches the mouse and that is the reason why the cat b is the winner because he will okay the cat b will be able to reach the mouse first now here this moves in this direction and this moves in this direction in one unit of time both reach the mouse at the same time so and the cat a and cat b fights and the mouse escapes let's try to look at this example again now now cat a basically takes two units of time to reach mouse cat b takes three units of time to reach it right which moves faster the cat a moves first towards the mouse so because it takes two units of time but cat b takes three units of time so cat a is the winner right now in this case you can just observe both the cats move in the backward direction because mouse is the first one so this will also move here it takes one unit of time to reach but this takes again 1 2 and then 3 so cat a is again the winner i hope uh, the problems is understood 
right so let's move into the implementation the input will be the position of cat a position of cat b and the mouse so we'll try to ask the user to enter the starting position of cat a right let me just expand this okay the user enters this I'll just mention it as cat A itself. In cat A, similarly, there'll be cat B and there'll be mouse. So we'll try to read the position of cat A, cat B, and the mouse. This is my cat B, and this is the starting position of the mouse. Now what is the job? To find out the distance between cat A and the mouse, the distance between cat B and the mouse. So how do we get the distance? We can get the distance by doing a simple subtraction. We can just say the cat A minus mouse will give the distance between the cat A and the mouse. Like if you just look into the examples and then see, assume the cat A was as position uh, 1 and then mouse was as position 3 right this is my cat a and cat b sorry cat a and the mouse and assume that is the reverse cat a is at position 3 and the mouse is position 1 now here the difference between these two the cat and the mouse is actually 2 and here also the dif difference is only 2 but if i just do a subtraction here 1 minus 3 and 3 minus 1 you won't get the same output here you get minus 2 and here you get 2. Yes, the 2 is common, but 1 is in the positive direction, 1 is in the negative direction. And yes, as we have looked into it, the mouse, okay, cats actually move in the direction of the mouse. Right? So, if the mouse is ahead, we'll just move forward. If the mouse is behind, the okay, cats moves in the backward direction. So, we need to only know the distance. We need not worry about the direction so if you want to only consider the difference in okay uh, the distance and not worried about forward or backward then what we should do it is we should not be worrying about the sign like is it negative or is it positive so if you want to do that we have to actually take the absolute function we have to take the help of absolute because we are not bothered about the direction we are only bothered about the value part so i'll just capture this into a simple variable called as x so I'll just use absolute value here because I'm not worried about the direction. Now, the same way, I'll also try to use another variable. Let us say y. So it will be cat b minus mouse. Right. Now, if x is less than y, meaning the di distance between cat a and the mouse was lesser th than the distance between cat b and the mouse. The cat a was more closer to mouse, so cat a will be able to reach it. I need to print cat a. Otherwise, if y is less than x, or I can say x is greater than y, either of it. So it means that the cat b is nearer to the mouse because y is lesser when compared to x so i'd like to print that it is cat b but in case if both these conditions are false neither x is less than y neither y is less than x it means that they are equal if they are equal then as we have seen that both the cats when they reach at the same point then uh, they fight among themselves and the mouse is allowed to move and the mouse escapes so we'll just see that it is mouse right okay let's try to verify this so let me just try to compile this cats and mouse okay so we require a header file for using this abs the header file will be stdlib.h perfect now let me try to run this 
position of a the position of a let me just give the input as what is we have seen in the examples one position of b was two and mouse was three you can just see cat b is closer to the mouse because the difference between them is only one so you can just see that the output was cat b so you can again rerun the code and you can observe that cat a is at one cat b is at three and the mouse is position two now the difference is exactly one and one and mouse wins so this we can verify with various inputs let's go back to the question which is present in hacker rank and try to see is this sufficient or do we need to do something more of that let's go back to this question now if you look into the question here it says that the first you are given q queries in the form of xyz instead of xyz i have considered as cat a cat b and the mouse because that is much more okay uh, meaningful names when compared to xyz but here what is the game they you are given q queries it's not one query whatever we draw the program it's about one query at one execution but here they're going to give multiple queries in a single execution right okay now let's see the input out here it says like for example in case the number of queries is two they're going to give two such inputs and each of the input will have the position of cat a position of cat b and the mouse so if you have to incorporate the number of queries here just go to the code and then add this number of queries here so we'll try to add the number of queries and then the loop should repeat q number of times the loop should repeat q number of times right so we can indent everything here one step in it's always good to indent fine okay now let's run this but before this let us try to look into this we're going to give two queries then one two three and one three two you should get cat b and cat mouse c so let's go to this code here we'll try to run this cats and mouse what's the problem here q is undeclared so let's go there declare q should never panic if you get any errors right so at one side i like to keep this input and the other side, I'd like to execute this. Right, number of queries is two. In the first case, position is one, two, and three. And see the output. What is the output? Cat B. Right. Then second case, it is one, three, two. It's mouse. It's working perfectly fine. Now it okay. The program is good enough to be placed in the hacker rank. But only thing is we don't require this printfs so what you can actually do it is you can comment it here itself or once you paste it you can comment all the printf which is not required and then you can take the code from here and paste it in hacker environment fine yeah this printfs are required this is required so only these messages which was for our understanding these messages was not required so let me just save this and copy this code and let me go to the online platform and try to paste it when you look into this particular code out here the default code which is provided uh, as the initial template of hacker rank uh, you might see a lot of complications here the pointers pointer to pointer and many such things out here and files don't be worried about it whatever we have done that should be good enough right you can just take that delete it just paste your code you already commented which is not required the print statements let us try to run this oh so there is some issue it's not mousey it is mouse okay so we are supposed to write mouse c here okay 
perfect it's it's passed the sample test case see just uh, even the small okay problem with even a space or a character one it creates an issue fine so we did it perfectly fine there is no okay problem in this particular code so let me just show you out here so what is the code this uh, prints are not required so I'm just going to remove this I would strongly recommend that you retain this at the initial level so that you can understand what you uh, need to enter otherwise you might not know what is the input to be given this is your code if you want you can read cat a cat b and mouse in a single line right such a simple program and here it is mouse c always fine perfect I hope you guys understood the problem and the one of the use case of absolute. Thank you.